Another spooky rat alike again. Welcome to... Just ignore them. Doesn't look like I'll be doing it that easy. Check, interact, move cursor. Oh, it's a point and click. Game contains scenes of graphic and disturbing nature as well as inappropriate language. Oh. Hello? Before we start the game, a quick tutorial. To interact with something, use the interact button. Check out something, use the check button. Also combine items. Now back to my story. I was eight years old when it happened. I never wanted this. They just wouldn't leave me alone. Every night the memory haunts me. The one thing I remember most was their faces. Toys! Hey, my robot! Not working. There are no batteries inside. Maybe this will help me sleep. Asshole? Can't do anything with it. Can't do anything with it. Never like this teddy. It moves on its own. I'm so much TV here. I go to bed. It'll give me nightmares. Closet? None of the closet. Nice and snug. Mommy, could you turn off the lights? Ready for bed, Mark? Yeah, Mom. Good night. Remember, if you see any monsters, just ignore them. I know. Love you too, Mom. Alright, our title drop, I guess. Huh? Ugh, can't sleep. 7 p.m. It's on its own TV. Closet? No, the closet again. Did I get back to bed? I can't sleep just yet. Eh? Oh, it's starting. I see something. It's a face. Should I switch out the TV? Yes. Where's the power button? Oh, there we go. Now I definitely can't sleep. Why didn't mom hear me? She really packed his... My spaceship! I thought I lost you. Or it circles to look at. What did My alarm clock. I like the green glow. Helps me sleep. Yeah. My bouncy castle. I mean, my bed. Probably if mom sees me. I can't leave. Vent? There's a monster that lives in there too. It never really comes out. It doesn't like mommy's perfume. But it has something to do with that, you creepy teddy. Why did Uncle give you to me? Oh, the TV just... Oh. Just ignore him. Number scratch in this drawer. 840. Let me write that down. Drawer's locked. Any nightmares? Closet? Just ignore him. Huh? Oh! Oh, it's a 7 p.m. Nope, oh, that's a death, then. Don't fall for the classic trope. I'm like, ooh, something creepy going on. Better investigate by going in further. Don't turn off the TV. You can use the light in here. 7.30. Can spin the teddy again. this time. Can I view this because of the light now? Just close the door and find mom. Don't look inside. Don't look inside. Okay, door's closed. 7.50 p.m. Oh, there would be a mass hole in my room. I was only eight back then, I had no idea what I was in for. Nothing could prepare me for what happened that night. I hate it when she locks the door. I need to find the spare key. Anything? Anyone's oob or something? Dresser? What's this? A screwdriver. Mama never let me play with this. Until now. Hee hee hee. So what I got in my inventory now? in the closet. Ah! 
I'm gonna be dying a lot unless I'm super careful. <laughs> Nothing else in here? Oh, but... Oh, no, I have the screwdriver, huh. Okay. That door? No. That door? This door? That's locked. All right, don't... Don't open the closet. Got this poster. Small tear in the picture, but be careful with it. Clock's broken. It's stuck on three. That's apparently a trophy. Books? Can I use the screwdriver to tear through? I won't do anything. Circle backs me out. Okay. How about we go down into the kitchen? That's a answer machine. I should check if there's any messages. Can't do anything with the TV. Dining table. Full of dust. We don't use it anymore. Well, since Dad went missing. But I know he's still here somewhere between the walls. Oh, no. Well, that's not scary at all. Nobody uses that TV anymore. Yeah, what's up? Bookshelf? Bunch of boring, but wait, what's this? One book that caught my eye. An old beat-up journal full of blank pages, except one. Safe code in the full picture. Maybe a clue for something else entirely. Someone left a message. It's her mom. Why did mom call? She was in the house. Honey, I'm just out grocery shopping. I found your game player in the linen closet upstairs. I thought I'd tell you before you forget it. I'll be home soon. Oh, cool, my game player. That's weird. That just left about two minutes ago. Why did mom be out shopping this late? It's a strange buzzing sound in the background of the message. Back door? Or is that death too? Mm, I should stay inside for now. <laughs> well, that was a trophy. Note. Make sure you're up early for school. Remember your alarm clock is 10 minutes fast. I'll see you in the morning. Jeez. Something in here? It was death! This are kind of enough to bring me back. What's this? One of Mom's lavender plants. Nothing in there. Oh, now I got a plant. Did I do that already? Oh, I got the watch I call it. Get anything with the telephone. That's locked. Oh, office room. Oh, okay. Oh, poop. Wait, there's never scratched under the doorknob. 820. Need to find the spare key. Trying to see if it's like under a rug or anything. Okay. Oh, missed that out of that entirely. All right, full on. Uh. TV remote because I never would have found this. Use the batteries from the remote. I don't think Mom would care anyway. She never watches TV. Have to turn it on and off with the power button. Had it turn on earlier. Did mom turn on to scare me? Okay, we got the batteries. Combine the batteries with the toy robot. Already got the trash can. Yeah, lavender scent. Turn back up the kitchen drawer. I missed this too. Nothing. How about this one? Nothing. That kitchen drawer under the microwave. A stepladder. He said there's the cupboards, but I doubt there'd be anything in there. Still, we got a stepladder now. Put the toy robots in front of the linen closet. This should trick him. I remember this one was the worst out of all out of all of them. Called him Bob. I don't know why, but it's better than his original name. Jiwi. It's locked. Okay. Note. What's this? A postcard? Something written on the back. Hi honey, hope you enjoyed your birthday at the Robot Bears Pizza Place. Sorry your father can't be here. He has to work again. Just don't want you to forget your special day. 
That was a fun birthday. Remember mom throwing up all that birthday cake in the bathroom? Oh, that'd be fun. Oof. I know where the spirit key is. In the bathroom. Boom. I'm going to get in there, though. That's locked. Okay. Put the lavender scent in front of the mouse hole. See, how would I have known to do all, any of this shit? <laughs> Maybe a monster would have came out there, too, at some point. Place the small ladder up against the wall. Monster lives there too, it never comes out. Doesn't like the perfume. I did the perfume. Uh... Oh, I need the screwdriver to unscrew it. Then I can go in. Put that away. I uh, don't know what that is, so we will save it before interacting with it. Small slot in the wall. Number scratch underneath it. Nine ten. Again, if I'm following the watcher code, I'm not gonna be able to write anything. Yeah, it's just gonna keep up. Uh, da, 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 da. Interact with the cupboard. That's the key. Interact with the toilet. Yeah, let's go. I don't really need to go. Interact with the toilet again. Say no. Back out to the moon hall to my bedroom. Interact with a drawer. Oh, it's unlocked now. What's this? A photo. Okay, got the photo. Use the screwdriver again. The duct. Interact with the slot. Some under here. What's this? A piece of a photo. And now I got two pieces. Did I combine them yet? Into the bathroom. Go into the hallway. The officer? It's never scratching the doorknob. It's 20. It's unlocked. Why are the lights on and why is there blood on the floor? Well, inside the office room. Did mom come in here? Oh. This one needs multiple safe states just to do the... Delete, delete, delete. Save. Wish I could number these so I know. Inside the photo frame on the desk. It's much on the back. Doesn't make sense when you're old enough. 3419. That won't do anything. Mysterious photo. Reload the first save. Office. Combine the two. Okay. I almost messed that up. Put that in the photo frame. My secrets, 0419. Let me get a trophy for that. Back into the hallway. Need to find the spare key in mom's room. I got the spare key. Mom? Why was you just sleeping? Why are you bleeding? Oh no. And there she was. Laying in a pool of her warm, shiny blood. Should have seen that coming. It was bound to happen, but I couldn't stop it. It wasn't fast enough. And now she's dead. The only family I ever had left. Where are you, Dad? Thanks for the car fee, Mary. Don't mention it, we usually don't open until 5 anyway. Sorry for coming so early, I just couldn't sleep. Again, what's on your mind, hon? Just stuff, not important. I'm sure it isn't, Mark. But it may help you sleep if you do want to talk about it. I don't know. Look, you've been here every day for three weeks now. You know you can talk to me about anything. It's just something about my mother. I never meant to upset you, I shouldn't have pushed you to 
It's fine. Well, it's up to you. I'm here if you want to talk. Got a dialogue with me. Say yes. No, it's okay, Mary. Really need to get this off my chest. Keep thinking about that night I found her. I lied to you the other day. She never walked out on me. She was murdered. I'm sorry to hear that. I shouldn't have said anything. It's all right. I don't know what to say. But that's not the reason why I can't sleep. Since that night, something's been following me. Like a stalker? Some... No, something has been... Well, that was weird. Bit of a typo there. Yeah, they were one key off. They meant to... to I was looking at my computer when I saw it. <laughs> Oopsie. I don't know what it is, but it seems to be really interested in me. You know what it is? I think I know its name. Bob. Mark, I think you're all emotional from your mother's death. You're seeing... I didn't think he'd believe me. He do, but I do think you need to get some rest. I'm going to start opening up now. Take care, Mark. You too, Mary. <gasps> you told! Where do I go now? I'm running out of places to go. They'll always follow me unless I find some answers. I just hope she's safe. Why do they keep dying? <gasps> oh no! And she hangs herself. I've had too many people. I can't get putting their lives in danger. Where do I go? They'll follow. I just hope she's alright. Don't let this happen again. Been a long day. Better get some rest. Need to get out of the room. Start that trophy. Head into the check-in. What's that on the floor? Oh, that's the shadow of the fan, it looks like. Talk to old Bill. Howdy there, welcome to the Dayfield Motel. My name's old Bill, how can I help you? Looking to spend the night, you have anything available? I only got one room left. It'll keep your head dry, but don't expect nothing fancy. That's fine by me, I just need somewhere to rest. I've been driving all day. Traveling cross country? You really should fly, son. It'll save you a ton on gas. Wish I could, but the tickets back home were too expensive. Airport in the next city? My cousin runs the booth. Just mention my name, he'll hook you up. You're key and just one more thing. Phones in the room don't work. Only mine does. But need to make a call? No, to see. Oh, I'm Mark, by the way. Well, shoot. It's nice to meet you. Oh, that's room 17. Better get inside. Well, if it isn't the penthouse suite, he even left stones on the bed. Eww. Inspect the toilet. Interesting concept, but I'll need to go. Inspect the toilet, but don't use it. Interact with the bed. Try to sleep. Found the bed and using the cracks in the ceiling. Finally, some time to myself. The more I gaze, the more cracks would grow. They're catching up. Or maybe I'm just slowing down. Oh, Mary's okay. Should be open a diner right about now. If I had the chance, I'd ask her out. Pfft, like she ever did someone like me. Oh, really, really cold all of a sudden. Like back when I was in Mom's room. Is it happening again? I can't, oh, I can't sleep again. I don't know if she's okay. I'll call the diner. Maybe she's still on shift. All right, I need to use manager's phone. Time to see old Bill. The window next to my door. Shouldn't poop. It's rude. Mind your own business. Go inside to check in. Huh? Where do you go? I don't think I'll mind if I have a look around. All right. Where's your key rack? Key rack, key rack. Is it telephone? There it is, key rack. Right in front of me. Bill's happy place. I wonder what this is. Oh boy. Back out. Back out and go to the side right on the map. Workshop door. Bill's key for that. 
Wow, what a dump. No more shot. Uh, inspect that poster. Someone's got good taste in posters. Interact with the lawnmower. Could use this blade somehow. And come in handy, scaring critters out of my room at night. Okay, so I got that. Interact with the workbench. An oil can. Could use some of the bed in my room. Can't take the squeaking no more. Got that. We combine those two: the mower blade and the oil can. Should I do it the other way? Oh, and the, the mower blade has been oiled. This seems safe, I think. It's like enough to fit into the hole. Huh. We need that on here. It's an old floor hatch. That should work. Like a glove. Oh, he's down here. Interact with the camera. What the hell? What the other guy stay in here? Need to show her the two. This old Bill's gonna get it. Wait. Is that? Oh shit! Oh shit. Go back upstairs. Well, well, well. Look at what we have here. You're sick, Bill. I should report you to the police. Why'd you go do something like that? Didn't you enjoy the show? You were in there for quite some time. You know, I've been more than one people around here. I'm gonna tell her everything. Now get out of my way. I don't care what you tell her. The only thing that concerns me is in your hand. Give me that, give me that tight. Go back upstairs, choose yes when you have the opportunity for the trophy. Be kind, rewind. Go out from Bill's workshop. Oh, interact with the grill. Let's go into this unless they wait food. The coal might come in handy. Didn't bring any toothpaste. That's a thing. Yeah, coal soap, I guess. Alright, we got the coal. Left in the courtyard where your car is. Interact with the room three door. Oh, not too late. Open up, you're in danger! I can't hear anything. Please unlock the door! Gotta break it open with the mower blade. Ah, oh, it's stuck. Oh, thank God you're sick. I guess it's open boob night tonight. Ugh. Sorry to intrude, but... Hmm... This is gonna sound stupid. A monster almost ate you. Could use the better pickup line, sweetie. I'm serious. The only monster is here. You busted down my door. I saw it in the shower with you. Uh, isn't looking very good on you, you know. But do go on. I was looking for the manager so I could make a call. But instead, I found a secret recording room. Oh yeah, I don't believe in fairy tales, cutie. I gave the tape to the manager. What'd you do that for? Don't know. I was in a rush to come rescue you. I'm sure you mean well, but I'm in no danger. No, well, till now, that is. Busted the lock on my door. Sorry about that. I was just trying to warn you about the monster. I've heard more convincing stories from guys trying to get in my pants. But that's a skirt. And that's a guilty face you're wearing. What's your name, Mark? Brianna, but everyone just calls me Bree. Problem with that? No, it's fine. I'll just leave. Got a car? You can give me a lift to the next city tomorrow. Since you busted my lock, you can let me stay in your room. Uh, sure. Yes, if you don't mind the... Obvious things on the floor. Not for me! That brand stuff was there when I got in there. I'm probably gonna be digging myself a little bit deeper if I tell her that, though. Then she has to put on my underwear. Oh, wait, outside. Yes, of course. Sorry to barge in. Alright. To my room. Better check in on how she's doing. She should be safe in here. I have to get that glass door to open. Looking for the slidey door. Again, sorry about before. Honestly, didn't mean to spy on you. Not that big of a deal. Glad you told me the truth. That manager's a creep. Yeah, that's bad. He joked about hiding dead bodies out here earlier. Hope not. Thought alone's really creeping me out. Oh, I'm not worried to have this really cute guy protecting me. Uh, no problem, I guess. What you know all the way out here? Too much of a dump for a nice girl like yourself to be staying here. I like it here. I'm not used to the fancy setups and services. And besides, my ride left me here to rot in this sand hole. Asshole. 
Where were you headed? Seem awfully curious for a stranger. Where are you headed? Nowhere. Trying to get away from my problems. Can't keep doing that. They'll haunt you forever. You can say that again. As for me, I'm usually the problem. You seem like a really nice person to me. Only if you're nice first. It just seems like I'm trouble follows me everywhere I go. Tell me about it. I got the same problem, kinda. Something wrong? You look a little pale. Eh. Nah. Just worried about s someone's after us is all. What's her name? How'd you know it was about a girl? It's always about a girl. Her name's Mary. That's an old name. She runs her mother's diner back in my hometown. I just hope she's okay. Why wouldn't she be? Like I said before, trouble seems to follow me. Well, I'm sure she's fine. If you're that worried, I'll let you use my cell. Just keep it short. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is Daisy speaking. Hey, it's Mark. Oh, the guy with the brown coat. That's me. Can I speak to Mary? Mark, there's something I need to tell you. Mary's... No, 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 no. My condolences to your daughter. How'd she die? She hung herself. <laughs> she must have just found out or something like that. She's still... Suicide? Oh, are you okay? What happened? Uh, Mr. Leaving, I just missed her leaving work is all. Do you love her? Oh, got another choice here. Choose no when you can. She's just a friend. Sounds like she's someone special. You mind? I need to make a private call. Not at all. I'll give you some privacy. Exit the room. What? Bill! You stole my truck battery, son of a bitch! Head back into room three. Coal. And this fireplace. Just need something to light it with. Too bad I don't smoke. Go back to my room. She's already asleep. Interact with her. Let's get her later. Oh, she don't wake up, otherwise I'd look as bad as I did before. If not worse, uh... Alright, now I can light that, right? Light in the fireplace. What's that smell? That boy better not start up that fireplace. It'll burn the whole motel down. I should draw him out of hiding. <laughs> oh, interact with the toolbox. It's all toolbox, a screwdriver. I really need to buy more tools. Alright, where are we going now? Bill's key. Use it. Okay. Back in here. Is the screwdriver with the... Looking for the power box. There it is. Let's open it. Need to use a screwdriver now with the... Washing machine now. Open it. Hey, my truck battery. Nice hiding place, Bill. Ah, oh, it's dead. Need to charge it somehow. We can do that with the unscrewed, what you call it? How convenient! Should have just enough charge to start the truck. I got that. Go back outside where the. where I'm parked. Put the charge card battery in the truck. Since the truck's fixed, we're out of here. Break a weak brace, we can get the hell out of here. I fixed the truck, we need to go. Only 12 channels, it's nothing but porn and antiques. Not even good porn either. Sorry the cable here is this dumpy motel, only has dumpy channels, but I really think we should be going. I'll explain later, right now we need to go. Room service with a lovely couple, it's Bill. Come on out, bacon eggs and some fresh squeezed OJ. Bria, pack your things and wait for my signal. When I call you, just head for the truck and do not stop for anything. You've seen too much, Mark. But don't you worry, we're taking extra good care of you and that pretty girl you got there, too. We're leaving and you ain't stopping us. Why you won't do that? I got this fancy looking gun. And guess what? You don't have one. Bill, please. Just let us go. I don't want to do this. There you are, pretty little lady. Just let us leave. He's coming. Son, you move an inch, I'll shoot her. Wait, wait. Dad, no! Dad? What the? the oh! What is that? I'll explain it later. We gotta go! No time for questions. Let's get the fuck out! Pork chop sandwiches! Oh, I didn't expect this to happen. It's like some sort of bad accent. Why'd you say dead? Is that what you're being chased by? Got someone running with me. 
Can't keep her with me, can I? Mark, start explaining. What's there to explain? What the hell was that thing? Why'd you call it dad? That, that's nothing, trust me. You gotta be kidding me. I just watched that monster eat that creepy guy. And you called it dad? You speak or I'll stab you. Okay, okay. You're way scarier than that monster. Don't try me. Okay. Yes, he was my father. What do you mean, was? Uh, he's not my dad anymore, but some hideous creature. I don't know what happened to him, but I'm going to find out. I just can't stop. I can't let him catch me. Well, then drive faster. I'm already going past the speed limit. <sighs> Listen, I'm sorry about freaking out back there. Uh, you would, too, if that, you, that was your first time seeing something like that. It's fine. I go for a drink after all that. What do you say? It's been a while since I've had one. Well, now she knows. I hope she doesn't suffer the same fate as the others. She's digging too deep. Why'd you agree to this? You just put her in danger, too. Well, she wants to know. She'll have to meet you again. So, where are we headed next? Huh? Oh, no. You said you wanted to live to the next city. Well, the truth is, I got nowhere else to go. That explains I headed up in the middle of nowhere? Yes and no. My so-called boyfriend left me there. Again, the asshole. Here's to you, Jason. You finally got rid of me. That doesn't sound too welcoming. I gotta go see an old friend of mine. Said he may have found an explanation for all this. What's his name? Dan. He a scientist? Kinda. His dad was one. You can explain what happened to your father? I hope so. Otherwise, I don't know what else to do. I'm sure he can help. He can't be helped. I'm sure he wasn't always a monster. He always was. Only now I can really see him for what he truly is. Bastard. If it helps, my dad was a bastard, too. He never cared about me. Just his sports and gambling. My dad left us for no reason. Never even a phone call. There must have been a reason for him to leave. I don't care anymore. I just want him to stop following me. Maybe he wants to talk to you again. You saw what he did to that guy back there. He wasn't the first person to die that way, either. God, you weren't kidding when you said trouble follows you everywhere. But seen pretty weird things before, too. I bet you never seen anything like that before. Well, not exactly. When I was a kid, my friends and me used to love exploring. We loved solving mysteries. My hometown was riddled with them. I remember Joseph and I found this old abandoned church once. The weirdest ghost thing you ever saw in there. The longest arms. I don't believe in ghosts. And yet you believe in monsters? Touché. I'll pay for the drinks. You sure? I don't mind. It's fine. It's easy excuse to try and hit on me. What makes you think I'm hitting on you? I can tell. He keeps staring at me every now and then. If you say so. We made it to the airport. They're still following me. But Bree, why are you still following me? What's interesting about me? Maybe this is a mistake. There's probably nothing happens to her. Comfortable? Uh, very. I think I was a good business class. I'm a girl, that's how. I don't think it's the Bill's cousin, I guess. A new friend of Bill's. He was such a pushover. Tell me more about your dad. Why? I'm interested. What do you want to know? What was he like when you were a kid? Not much to tell. Not much to remember. Mom always said he was married to his work. Never had any time for her or me. What do you do for work? Science. He was a scientist? Ever heard of the LADP? Life After Death Project. Oh, I heard about it on the news a while ago. 20 years ago, to be exact. He was involved with it. Always at the lab. But my mom would always set out dinner for him. We watched his food go cold every night. What's the Life After Death Project? Don't know. That's why I'm gonna go see Dan. His dad and mine worked on the same project. Just hoping he knows something. You really know this Dan guy? He knows a lot about me, surprisingly. I called him a while ago. He said my dad always spoke highly of me, but I don't know. He barely knew me. Not your fault, Mark. It was. I've been such a disappointment as a kid. Sorry, Mark, I shouldn't have asked so many questions. It's alright. I felt good to get it off my chest. How about you? What's your childhood? I'd love to tell you, but I really need to pee. Oh, uh, you want me to come with you know, in case something happens? I'll be fine. Just wait here. I'll be back soon. Ooh, that was weird. Wait, am I, am I still sitting? Or am I Brie now? Passenger, passenger. Oh, I am controlling you. Huh. 
character change. Go up twice. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So I got that. Reach the restrooms. How do they smoke? No one should catch me in here. Better cover up that smoke detector first. Enter the supply closet, plain room, female restroom. I have duct tape. Put over the smoke detector. Combine my lighter with my cigarettes. Christ, I needed that. Another two hours till we land. And this is my last one. Well, if I can last till then. Why did he lie to me? He's been lying to me this whole time? He lied about the tape and what he said about his father. I got a bad feeling about this. I should just be careful. Better head back. Return to the beginning area, so go down twice. Plain business. What the? Where'd everyone go? Mark? Oh, what do I do? What am I interacting with? With a pilot? Is that it? Interact with a pilot cam box. Is anyone there? Hello? Anyone? Hello, can I help you? Thank God there's still someone flying this thing. What's that? Seems to be a problem. All the passengers are gone. Where'd they go? There are no passengers. I'm serious. Calm down, ma'am. Can you address the, your concern with the gentleman in the economy class? What? Why can't you help me? Someone needs to find the plane, ma'am. He'll be able to help you with your concerns. The man in economy? Hopefully he's still there. Gotta go up one to the economy. Oh, you're here. I have to talk to this guy first. Why didn't you disappear? Can I help you? Everyone in here is... Ma'am, please clam down. You're hyperventilating. You're right, sorry. Everyone's gone! Haven't we landed already? No, we're still flying and everyone's gone! Come down, miss. Brig! Who are you? Mason, I'm the air marshal. So you're a cop? Good. Can you help me figure out what the hell's going on? Slow down. What do you mean everyone's gone? I'm not gonna say it again. Just do something! None of the crew have notified me about any missing people. What do you mean there is no crew? I mean, I'm not gonna believe you so easily. You can prove to me why I should get out of my suit. I'll believe you. Everyone's a jerk. I'm just one of the few that are not afraid to show it. Well, go down once. Reinteract with this. Mr. Pilot, you still there? Damn it, the overhead storage isn't locking again, stupid console. Hello? Ma'am, did you resolve your problem? No, everyone's still missing! And that guy was a bit of a jerk. I take it you've met Nielsen, the air marshal. Did he address your concern? He said he won't help till I have proof of the situation. Yeah, he's one of a kind. Look, ma'am, please address your concerns from now on to the staff. Also, please do not smoke in the bathroom. We can see you. Strange voice, though. Eh? Uh-oh. Wait, so now do I go down? Yeah, go down once. Now I interact with the red ladder. Go further downstairs. Whoop. Get that digital camera. Can you use this to give Nielsen some proof? Oh, the battery's almost dead. Need to take the photo quick. That to Nielsen. Great. Camera's out of power. Please see life just so I can show Nielsen. Got nothing to say. Oh, I point to you. Digital camera. To Nielsen. Here's your proof. It's a broken camera. No! It must have run out of batteries. Calm down, I believe you. While you were gone, I radioed the cockpit and spoke with the pilot. Oh yeah, that jerk. But I didn't recognize the voice. I don't know who's flying this plane. Who's flying this plane? What do we do? Just wait here until I investigate. But I gotta find my friend Mark. Just stay here for now. I can't wait for Nielsen. I gotta find Mark now. Return to the... Return to the plane's restrooms. Bree, are you there? Listen, where's his voice coming from? I'm using the intercom. I need you to come to the cockpit. Something you need to see. Well, I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, go down here into the cockpit. I didn't see that before. Listen, what's going on? Where are the pilots? That's what I wanted to show you. No one's flying this plane. Who's fl what do we do? I don't know. But I do find something peculiar. You called the pilot a jerk before. What do you sound like? There was a little static, but otherwise sounded like a normal guy. Oh, his voice did sound a little high for an adult. That's the answer I was looking for. 
When I first tried to call you over the intercom, you didn't answer. Someone else did. Someone else still alive? Don't know. Whoever it was sounded very childish. Need to know what's going on here. I'll try to radio the tower for instructions, and I'll find Mark. Have you tried the luggage compartment? He might be down there, although I fear we're not alone. Be careful. You too, Neeson. Let me know if you find something down there. Into the plane rear. Oh, God! Is he dead? Mark, is that you? What the fuck is that thing? 